Pete. Good, how are you? Couldn't be better. Yes, you're looking fine. Well, feel that way. Say, that's right pretty, ain't it? Not so bad. Where are you going? Oh, you know, it's been quite a depression over on the American side of the line. I'm going over to Mexico. The boys want a game over there, and I'm... I'm figuring on accommodating them. Well, be careful over there. That's a pretty hard lot. Might oh. get in trouble. Oh, don't worry about me. I... I'm just going over there on a on a social visit. Kind of bad, one brother a ranger, and the other a lone wolf. I'd hate to have to come after you, Pete. <laughs> don't you worry, I don't take any chances. You're the bird that does all that. Well, it's good to see you again. Good to see you. So long. I'll be waiting for you. That gang of smugglers have picked off two of our men this month, Mac. I hate to send young Marlin on their trail. He's the right man, Chief. Next to his brother Pete, Jack Marlin's the fastest gunman on the Texas border. I guess you're right. I guess that's him now. Hi, Chief. Ten for me? Yes, Jack. Sorry, I'm a little late. I sneaked over on the Mexican side looking for that bunch of killers. Well, Jack, I'm afraid I've got a little tougher job than that for you. Well, I didn't join the Rangers to twirl my thumb. Well, this job is to go after the smugglers along the border. Your brother Pete's back in this territory. You may find him mixed up with them. Oh, I don't think so, Chief. But if he is, it's just too bad for him. Had anything to eat? No, I'll go get something now. I'll be leaving at daylight. Good luck, boy. Thanks. Be seeing you again, McLean. Goodbye, Jack. Good luck. Thank you. What's up, senor? Hello there, how are you? Muy bien, gracias. Are you? Fine. Can you see got the same nice horse, eh? Yeah, same old fella. You don't like to sell him to me? No, no, I reckon not. Say, how much do you think he's worth? Well, this horse, senor, he's worth uh, about $300. You got that much with you now? Oh, no, Mr. Marlin, I don't got $300, but I got $50 here, I give you $50. You give me that on account. All right, sir, I go back to the ranch and get some more right quick, huh? Eh? All right. Muchas gracias, senor. Hey, yeah, wait a minute. Don't take that horse away till you bring back that money. Oh, no, I leave him here. Ah, muy bien, caballo. I wasn't going to show up? Oh, I knew you'd come, Pete. Well, of course, I had to come. I had to give you fellas a chance to get eaten for last night. <laughs> <laughs> Meet my friend Jim Bowman. Pete Marlin. I am, Pete. I am, Mr. Bowman. Say, you've got cards enough here for a game of solitaire. Hold on. Say, I wouldn't do that if I was you, Bowman. The smoke hurts my eyes. I'll be all right if I sit here? Yeah. 
I, I didn't know he was that kind of a bird. Oh, say, he takes the game too seriously. I take me. I just play it for sociability. <laughs> say, I don't know where you fellas get all this money, but you seem to have plenty of it. Well, we'd have a lot more if we had your brains. Brains? Lord, I ain't got any brains. Lady Luck takes care of me. You wouldn't mind making a fellow acquainted with her, would you? I don't know. <laughs> She's a particular old gal. <laughs> well, let's see what happens this time. Well, I'll look for you about noon, Mac. All right, Cap. That looks like Jack Marlin's horse. Come on, let's go. What they Let Mr. Henderson in. What's all this crowd about? What's the matter, McLean? Somebody got Jack Marlin. No. Well, that's too bad. Where is he? Inside. Howdy, brother. Young Marlin picked off? Yeah. That's the third this month, Steve. Well, Jack was mighty quick on the draw. How'd he get it? A knife from behind. I'm going to get this gang, no matter who it is. Maybe you will. I hope you do. But it's a one-sided game, Frank. Three in one month is big bounty. What do you know about that $1,000 deposit Jack Marlin made in your bank, Steve? Well, all I know about it is he uh, put it in a couple of days ago. I saw him do it myself. Say, do you suppose he was There's in a with... big, powerful outfit behind this gang. No. More likely it's a small bunch of fast-running gophers that know their holes well. Maybe. And I aim to find those holes. Third one. Third one this year. Yeah, they're getting bad. I think it's probably going to get bad. Muy bien, caballo. Muy bien. Seguro. I'll raise it. Took him on. I'll just track it. I'll call it. That's good. Well, looks like you boys are about clean. You're not quitting, are you? Huh? You don't think you're gonna quit, do you? Why, Mr. Fletcher, you ain't got no objections, have you? Yeah, considerable. 
Well, I'll just bank this. Say, you know, you boys are unreasonable. We've been fumbling around here all night. Who's dealing, anyhow? Why, uh, it's my deal. You're wrong, boys. I am dealing. Come on, get out of that corner. I don't want nobody behind me. Come on, get out. You ain't going nowhere, brother. Get back to that tie rail. The money, the horse is mine. I've changed my mind, Passano. Who? Oh. oh, my friend, you got my horse. Thank for the here. Thank for the here. Are you in there? Open the door. Ah, so you help me. On your horses, ma'am, and after him. Well, he got away, and Mary helped him. So you helped him get away? Why, what makes you think so? Schultz told me. Oh, Schultz. You're still interested in Pete Marlin, aren't you? Am I? Now listen, Mary. Do you want me to continue working for you? Why, certainly. Then, uh, please. Hold on, Joe. Wasn't that Pete Marlin you were shooting at? We don't want any trouble with him. He's worse than the law. That's him, all right, Benero. But he's robbed us and beat it. Ha! <laughs> Fine bunch of gamblers you are. Falling for his game again. He got you the last time, didn't he? Sure he did, but once is enough. I know when I'm beat. Yeah. Well, he's got our door and we're going to get it. Don't be a fool, Schultz. I've got bigger things for you to do than chasing that tiger. Now, come on. your boss.
What happened to Jack? you'll have another grand parade, waving the flag and bragging about another one of your men going to a glorious death and then forgetting. From what I found on Jack Marlin, he'll be buried without honors. Jack Marlin was a straight boy. There was only one thing wrong with him, and that was his brother. Now you're going to bury him with every honor you've got, or you won't live to bury him. Read that. I found it on your brother. This letter could have been addressed to me. I'm Senior Marlin, too. Was this letter opened when you got it? Well, no. Come to think of it, it wasn't. It was planted on him. You may be right. But what do you know about this thousand dollar deposit Jack made in my brother's bank? I gave him that money. Where did you get that kind of money? I collected that money across the river in a poker game. I'm sorry, Pete. In my desire to serve the law, I just couldn't figure straight. Oh, I know. I know you like Jack. So did I. Here's Jack's badge. I know he'd want you to have it. Yeah. Jack always wanted me to ride with him. And now I reckon it'll be me that's wanting. I want you to wear it. Not only as a remembrance of Jack, but I'd like to have you in the service. That's sure funny. Looks like the law's got me at last. Chapel, you must have been heading where you last saw Jack. You come on, see if you can lead me to it.
Steven. Stand still. What's the matter with you? Donovan's kid. You are a gal, ain't you? Uh-huh. You know something? What? Well, when I... When I first saw you down at the river, I thought you was a boy. Yeah? What is your name, anyhow? Bernice. They call me Bernie. But don't you be doing it. Oh, no, no. Oh, uh, Bernice. Say, that's the right pretty name, Bernice. What's your name? Oh, Pete. They call me Pete Marlin. Not Pete Marlin, the bad man? Now, who told you I was bad? <laughs> I know all about you. They're kidding you. I ain't bad. Well, you look good to me, Pete. Thanks. Gee, I wish I had a dad like you. Instead of that old brute. Hey, hey, hey. You hadn't ought to talk that way about your old man. Oh, I know it. But I can't help it. It's terrible. Sometimes I think he's not my dad at all. Oh, it's... I hate him, I hate him. I wish nothing had happened hey. to him. I hate him. Get up there, get up there. Say, you mustn't get all excited that way. That's how you fell in the river. You got all wet. Say, <clears throat> you, you know you remind me an awful lot of somebody. Huh? Love story. Sweetheart? Oh, come on. Tell me all about it, Pete. No, 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 no. There's no story. That's all there is to it. You know what, Pete? No, what? You saved my life. So I belong to you. Uh, well, I mean, you're responsible for me. See? Well, well, uh, uh, say, I don't get you. Well, this is what it is, Pete. When Pop comes back and finds out I've lost his horse, why, he'll beat me to death. No, your Pop ain't gonna beat you. Oh, yes, he will, Pete. Why, he'll kill you if he finds you here. Yes, he will, Pete. Now, listen here. Your Pop ain't gonna kill nobody. Oh, go dear, Pete. You don't know him. See this? I hide it. This is what he beats me with. Feel back here. Feel. Feel. You understand now? Listen, Pete. 
I got an idea. I ain't ever had much chance to be a girl or anything much. I mean, just around these sheep all the time. And, and why, not even across the river to Mexico. And Pete, why, we could, we could go across the river to... You could take me to Mexico on your horse. You're responsible for me, see? Well, if you're not gonna take me, why didn't you let me stay in the river? I can't stay here, Pete. Honey! I can't stay here. <laughs> He's coming. He's here now. You gotta go. You'll kill us both. You can go out this no, way. No, 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 no. He ain't gonna kill nobody. But don't you don't know him. You don't know him. You've gotta go. Stop, stop. Please. Stop. What are you doing here? Well, Pop, you see, the horse... Never mind. The little gal met with an accident. A horse threw her into the river down there, and she nearly drowned him. Now, where's the horse? Say, you don't understand. I say the little girl fell off a horse into the river. She was drowned, and I come along just in time and pulled her out. I not told you before to walk when you tend the sheep and lead the horse. Say, I was in the water myself. And I got a little wet, I'm cold. Ain't you going to ask me to have a drink? I don't know you. Who are you? I'm Pete Marlin. Pete Marlin? Thousand dollar fellow. The bad man. I'm Donovan. Mike Donovan. Yes, I've heard of you, Mr. Donovan. And your kid here, too. Hey, didn't you hear what Mr. Marlin asked for? Go and bring the liquor. Never mind, I uh, come to think it over. I ain't cold no more. I don't want any drink. Mr. Marlin, I've heard a lot about your poker play. What about a little game here tonight with me and a few of my friends? No, I'm sorry. I got an engagement across the river tonight. Oh, don't go. Stay for supper. I can cook. Can I, Pop? Sure. Well, now, that's right kind of you, Bernice. But you remember me telling you about somebody you reminded me of? Well, that's why I'm going back across the river this evening. Well, take me with you. Don't leave me, please. Remember what I told you. Now listen. There ain't a thing in the world for you to worry about while I'm across the river. Because when I'm across the river, if anything happens to you, it's just going to be plumb disastrous. Maybe I can get back around seven o'clock. Would that be all right? Oh, that's good. Sure, we'll wait. Oh, well, Mr. Martin. You don't happen to be a brother of Jack Marlin, the ranger, do you? Yeah, Jack's my brother. Well, uh, I heard he'd been killed. Who told you that? See, I bore some cowhand down the river. No, I guess not. 
Jack's able to take care of himself. Well, bring him along, eh? Oh, yes, one of us will be here. So long, Bernice. Goodbye. Well, that's Jack Marlin's horse. We better take him with us to the walking tea. The boss don't want him left here. Right. Jack Marlin's horse down by the river. We bought it here. What? Why, that'll put Pete Marlin on my trail. My brother Frank made him a ranger this morning. What? Uh huh? Get rid of it. Kill it. Anything. You fool. Well, I didn't know they made him a ranger. Go on. Get to it. Start walking, Pete. Well, I was just trying to turn Jack's horse loose on the range. You're not turning any horse loose on no range. Well, what do you want me to do? Get over to the house. Which house? That house yonder. Stay where you are. Remember this. I'll kill the first man that tries to ride Jack's horse. Go ahead. Get it. Go on, get your horses and go. Well, come on, old boy. Let's get back across this river.
go of me. Stop, you're hurting me. Stop, you're hurting me. Help! Shut go. up! Ah. Shut up! Stop, let go of me. Let go! Wait a minute, Take him up. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon, Senor Ranger. Well, I just left your friend Steve Henderson and showed Fletcher, and now I meet you, huh? Yes, and perhaps for the last time. If he makes a move, shoot. Safe. Looks like we'll have our little game, all right, Pete. With me and Venero dealing. Oh, no, no! Shut up! Leave her alone, Donovan. Well, we live and learn in every game. There's a few games you'll never learn, Marlin. You haven't much time left. I'm going to give you a run in ten counts for the river. You ready? Looks like my luck's about run out. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Ah, Senor Gomez. You come just in time. We caught the horse thief for you. Gracias, Senor Venero. Gracias. Me too, Senor Gomez. And I don't mean maybe. Hey, those are right pretty. Something new? Take her home. I'll tend to things here. Yeah. Come here, look at me. What's up? What is it, Mac? Someone just come out of the bank. My bum leg kept me from catching him. Pete Marlin's horse. Yes. Stay here. I'll see if I can get in. What's the matter, Steve? I've been robbed, Frank. I didn't see who did it. Get me right here. Let's see. Oh, that ain't too bad. He told me I'd hit you with the butt of a gun. Yes, I guess he did. Come inside. Did you get Marlin's horse over to show Fletcher? Yes. You know what to do with it. Why, well, yes, the bank business. That's right. Marlon, come over here. I had to pull off that stunt today on account of Donovan. Here, make use of these. Come over to my place where you can hide out for a spell. Say, that's mighty kind of you, Venero. Thanks. I figured you'd understand. Now, the minute he comes out of that jail door, let him have it. You understand?
Hey. What do you want? Open this door. Come on. Come back here. Don't go. Well, did you get into the bank? Yeah, I got him. I've been wondering whether Steve Henderson recognized me or not. Don't you worry about Steve Henderson. I'm going to let you in on something. Steve had Joe Ryan killed so he could get possession of that walking T ranch. Then he flashed a forged bill of sale on Ryan's wife. Told her that Joe had sold him the place and skipped with their baby girl. Well, what happened to the kid? Donovan raised her as his daughter. That's Bernice, the girl I'm going to marry. Well, what's Mary doing running Steve Henderson's place? Oh, he's had his eye on her for a long time. Well, let's get down to business before Pete Marlin finds out I planted that horse out there by the bank and blows the works. Pete Marlin ain't going to bother us any more than his brother Jack. He's been taken care of. Well, that is news. <laughs> our bank. Ought to be 5,000 in it this time. Yeah. Well, looks like it's all here. Same old packages. I think I'll send a little note back with him this time. walking tea papers. How about uh, 5,000 more of an arrow? You're getting a little bit heavy, ain't you? No. Well, if they're worth 5,000 to you, Steve Henderson would pay a little bit more to get them back. Oh, you're going to get that way, are you? Yeah. You know, I'm not going to take all these chances for nothing. You've made plenty off of Steve Henderson. Now I want a little of it myself. Well, maybe you're right. You've done some good work for us on the American side.
We leave Pete's horse here. We'll skirmish around a little. You keep your eyes open, Mac. All right, Cap. Come on. I've been doing some investigating. And I think I found out something's going to interest you. What? That walking tea ranch belongs to you. The bill of sale that Steve Henderson held is a forgery. Now here it is. You keep that. Hide it somewhere and don't let nobody get it. Oh, Pete. Why do you do all this for me? Well, honey, even if you did marry Joe, I haven't stopped thinking about you. I wonder if... I wonder if it would be all right if I told you something, could you? Could you stand a little shock? Why? Sure, Pete. I guess I could stand most anything. What is it? Well, there ain't no use you looking for Joe no more. Joe is done away with. Oh! My baby. Pete, my baby. Oh, where is she, Pete? Yeah, I was, I was, I was coming to that, honey. She's safe. Oh! Oh, my baby. You know that kid that lives across the river with Donovan? Yes. Well, that's her, honey. Oh, Pete. Oh, Pete, take me to her, Pete. Please, right away. Oh, now, listen. I couldn't do that. I'm going after her now. Oh. I'll bring her back to you. Uh. You just stay here. I'll sure fetch her. Oh, Oh, but Pete, it's dangerous. Huh? It's dangerous. Gosh, I hope so. Oh. What are you doing here? Don't move! What's the idea, Mike? Chief wants you for robbing his brother's bank. Who says I did it? Steve Henderson himself swapped the warrant. Does White Eagle believe that? Sorry, Pete. My order is to bring you in. Listen, I can explain everything, Mac. Now, just let me show you these pieces. Give them up! This share's gonna cost you plenty. Well, it's your own fault. 
Gosh, you ought to know better than to interfere with the law. Well, I'm sorry to do this, old partner. Say, if you want me, you'll find me over at Donovan's. Well, hello. Come on up. And let me pet you. They never will let me play with you, will they? Well, what's this they've been doing to you? I've not told you about falling in the touch of this dog. Well, I was just petting him, Pa. What did you take out of there? I didn't take anything out of there. Well, who did? I don't know. You don't know? No. You haven't I... been snooping around on no, me, have you? You know I, I wouldn't snoop. Has you that know Pete Marlin been around here? No, he hasn't, Bob. You wouldn't lie to no. me, would you? I wouldn't well, lie. Well, if you did, no. I'd beat that snoop no. out of you. You no. are lying to me. I told you. So you whipped the kid. So you whipped the kid, huh? My job. Turn around. Well, Pete Marlin, I guess this is the end of your career. Who did this, Mike? Pete Marlin did it. On time. Did I ask you a question? Go ahead. Now, I know all about that walking tea business and, and uh, you fellas getting that ranch away from Mary. But what I wanted to ask you was, what about that, what about that smuggling business over from the other side of the line and about, the, about that dog with the, with the overcoat on? Was that... Uh, did you figure that all out? I might as well admit it, because the star witness is going to be dead. Well, I just... I just wanted to compliment you, Mr. Henderson. That was right smart. That just took brains. Now, here I am being going along all my life, figuring on uh, just riding luck all the time, going along with luck, and now I'll find out I'm wrong. I'll back up so I don't smoke you. Drop it. Now, would you boys mind stepping aside and letting the lady pass? Where is she? Her niece is in the back room there, Mary. Oh. Oh, Beat. like I was wrong after all. Looks like luck was with me. Back up a little bit, Mike. I sure
sure feel sorry for your brother, Steve. It's going to be hard on White Eagle to send you to the penitentiary, especially with with Scarface here for your companion. What makes you think I'm going to the penitentiary? Oh, you're going there, all right. Unless you move too sudden-like. <laughs> well, it looks like everything's all right now. Come on. Let's be moving. Hand over those guns, Pete. I'm using them right now, Chief. Max got you covered, too. Well, you give Mac the order to shoot. There'll be four brothers dead instead of two. Why, what have you done, Mr. Henderson? Robbed the bank. When? Today, at dusk. Why, he was over the river at dusk. The lady's right, Chief. I was on the other side of the line at dusk. I'm sorry to tell you this, Eagle. But your brother Stephen here is the man you ought to be investigating. On what charge? Forgery, kidnapping and smuggling. He's the brains behind that smuggling gang. You ought to see the nice toupee he's got made for a dog. Well, that's a bunk. I never... Easy, Stephen. Remember what I told you about moving too sudden? Well, he was the brains behind that smuggling outfit. Fletcher, Venero, and Donovan here. Here, Pete. I got the door. You want to show him, Pete? There's what I was telling you about. That's how they got the stuff across the line. That's not my dog. That belongs to Donovan. You can't tack that onto me. Keep your mouth shut, you fool. I ain't gonna swing for your dirty crimes, Chief Henderson. Go on, tell him how you stole your lion's ranch. Go on, go ahead and tell him how you arranged with Sean Fletcher to bump up Jack Marlin. Ah, you can't deny it. You're guilty, and I'm not really gonna be the goat for you. I'll turn state evidence, Chief. Take him away. I'm going I... out of this. I'm not going to swing for you. No, you dirty rotten devil. I'll go. I'm plumb sorry, White Eagle. I sure know how you feel. Where's your badge, Pete? Well, you want that back, do you? you two get together for the love of peace with Stalin's 